part of the postseason? And did you base it on the shooting percentage, or are you looking at other things that just focus on? I'm basing it on one thing, and that's getting 16 wins. Uh, you know, last year, I feel like I had a great postseason, especially statistically, but it didn't amount for nothing if you lose that last game, so that's the only thing I really measured on. Do you feel like you're playing really good defense right now? Yeah, I feel like I play well on both sides of the ball. Obviously, I want the shot to go in more frequently, but as basketball, you know, do for a few big games or whatever. But uh, can't get caught up in the percentages, especially when you're winning. You just gotta make winning plays and play hard, and everything else take care of itself. Can you be mechanically with the shot that you can feel? No, nah, I feel good. I feel kind good. of a mystery to you, the shots that are going in. No, nah, just it's not a mystery, uh, especially when you're undefeated. It's going to be a lot worse for your losing. Yeah. And this, a few years ago, four years ago, did you have, did you have like 40 in San Antonio in the playoff game? Do you, do you, how, yeah. how much do you remember that series? I remember a lot. It was a great series. Went back and forth. A lot of, they're a great team. I mean, went to the finals that year. We were a bucket or two away from winning it. So I remember a lot. It doesn't feel that long ago, really. And uh, I think we gained so much valuable experience in that series. And, it you know, helps, helps us to this day. Did you think back then, were you thinking that this was possible, that you guys would eventually be? I, I thought it was possible. We had so many good young players. We obviously a few pieces away. But I definitely thought it was possible. You like shooting in road arenas. I mean, you had a big game in Oklahoma City last year. That game that Marcus was talking about. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like you it seemed to matter. I mean, you actually seemed to play. I like, like shooting, shooting. I like shooting anywhere, whether it's in high school gym or NBA arena or the park by the beach. It don't matter. I just love getting shots up, and uh, that's uh, during a game and not during a game. You know, it's always fun to me. Does your shot felt good? Do you, do you feel like you're getting good looks and getting good uh, jumps out there? Yeah, I do. When you're guarding Patty Mills, is it different than anything else, or you just approach it just as, like you're guarding anybody else? Well, he's really fast, first off. You can't lose him. He moves very, very well without the ball. And uh, I think that's how he gets going is when he uses teammates to get open looks. So you can't, can't relax when, when he doesn't have the ball. You can't relax. And they're using you kind of some, on some double team stuff, too. Like, do you like that, that role? Yeah, I mean, it's not just me. I think it's just part of our defensive schemes when one of the good guys has in the post, you know, throw a different look at him. And it's been working. Do you still remember that game one? Uh, Y'all blew the 18.44 Oh yeah, I do. It's not. It wasn't too far, long ago. I you definitely remember it. Game, right? I did. Is that why I lost. It was obviously <laughs> contributed to it, which uh, try to you know play without reaching anymore. And uh, game got a lot better since. Play, uh, Coach Curry's going to travel with the team to San Antonio. What's that going to mean for you guys? And, uh, you get a sense he's about to return to the match. Um, well, it's great to hear his voice. He's a calming presence for us, and he has a great demeanor. Obviously, he has some experience in the playoffs, and uh, that always helps. But uh, I, I think he's going to return. I mean, with or without him, we're going to play hard, and uh, he's going to help us in any way he can. He's, he's, a, he's a winner, and, he, and he's proven that he can uh, or will always be there for us. So you guys are, you uh, made the NBA All-Star team last year, but you didn't make it this year. I mean, do you feel like it might be a little bit of a snub? It means All-NBA. All All-NBA, <laughs> All oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. NBA, oh. All NBA, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I didn't even know that, so. It was announced this morning. So. Oh, nice. No, that's all right. Not a big deal. You guys won. 10 straight in the postseason so far, 17 points a game. That's your average winning margin. What do you think is driving the success you guys have had so far? Uh, a hunger to get back to the finals, take it this year, and um, so intensity. Our depth, our depth's been incredible. Last game we had so many guys in double figures, a high assist no total assist number, and our depth is what's going to help us win. The I think help us win it, but have a chance to win a championship this year. Hey, Clay, Clay, it's the Western Finals now. Do you guys have the same mentality as the first two rounds or feel more excited and more pressure? 
Yeah, we have the same mentality every time we step on the court, and that's just to win every ball game we're in. Leave it all out there and don't look too far ahead, you know? Just enjoy the process and enjoy the game. Game, game three, what's next? So try, try our best in game three. Game two of that series, you, uh, you had 34, you were eight or nine for three. Is that, is that the first play explosion? Uh, it's probably one of them, you know, but on the national stage, probably. Is that it? Nice, I'm out of here. Thank you, guys.